Leo, this is your weekly tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries Tarot. Welcome, guys. First and foremost, um, this is your reading. So I'm going to describe a bunch of energies. Let them resonate where they will in, in your life. This is for uh, Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. Um, and there's always an extended reading that I hope you guys will join me for. And I've attached the links. I'll attach it to the end of this video so you can click right on it and go right to it. It's also that link is down below in the description box as well. I will pin it to the top of the comment section. It's all over. You guys can get to it. And I look forward to seeing you there. If you love this content, be sure to give it a thumbs up and share that love. Also, are you subscribed to the channel? Please do. Um, subscribe to that channel and ring that notification bell so that you know when I upload your favorite content. Sometimes you might want to check out your moon sign video, your rising sign video, because you could easily relate to them more week to week. Absolutely. Um, there's always, um, um, excuse me, you can join me also on my second YouTube channel, Astrology Motivation. Monday through Friday, I do a live tarot chat. Tarot, I do a general tarot card reading. We go over the astrology for the day. It's really fun, and I hope to see you guys there. I have a special announcement at the very, very end of this reading before we go to the extended, so let's get into it. First of all, Leo, let's go over the astro. Oh, yeah, I wrote much. Oh, yeah, I wrote it down. Yes. Um, so the sun is in Aquarius, and it is conjunct Saturn. Sun conjunct Saturn is all about authority and taking the lead and committing yourself, taking things seriously and sort of the maturation of the ego, a matured ego, a matured sense of self. Since it is Aquarius, this could be taking responsibility for the group or the group itself taking responsibility and becoming sort of almost like in some ways it could be the, 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 the rule, the group becoming the law which can be a little bit scary. And ultimately, a conjunction is neither good nor bad. It's just how we apply it. So for those of you who have a natal sun that is at the last degrees of Leo, say between 25 degrees and 30 degrees Leo, it's not a date. Check your, check your natal chart to see where your, your sun falls in the sign of Leo. Because if it's at the very end, this conjunction is happening directly in opposition to your sun, and it's been causing problems for you for a while, for at least the past few days, and it will cause trouble for the whole week. This is like being blindsided and really seeing, feeling like almost like your authority or your personal authority is being hijacked, maybe by the crowd. So that's going to be particular clashes that could be going on between you and whatever community that you belong to or just not feeling like you have the right to be who you are and questioning yourself a lot because of peer pressure. Um, <clears throat> the sun is also all week long, as, as it's in conjunction with Saturn, it is semi-square to the Jupiter Chiron conjunction, which means there's a lot of pain and suffering that's going to be growing and expanding, and maybe it's going to get so intense. There's just intense pressure or growing pains. Um, for some of you, it is worse than others. Now, for some of you, this Jupiter Chiron conjunction is because it's in Aries, it's trying to your natal sun. So if your natal sun is between nine degrees and 13 degrees Leo, this conjunction is gonna be trying your natal sun, which means there is harmony and the ability for you to put your pain to work to help you grow and become better through learning by how you've suffered. So that's actually, for you guys, that could be a really nice interaction and very kind of personally productive time or even physically physically you could be healing from an injury so this would be a really beautiful time for you guys specifically to do it if you have a natal sun at 15 degrees leo it is going to be square to uranus and it's been square to uranus so it's almost like um there's trouble troublesome change trouble with change um just constant uh constant challenges coming up constant surprises things surprising you things forcing you to learn what you haven't learned before and the outcome is what's going to surprise you because it's actually going to make you a better person and a better version of yourself those leos who are early to mid leos say like five degrees to nine degrees leo 
this week your sun is going to be in direct opposition to mercury and that's like for you guys it's like a mini it's almost like a, a, a mini mercury retrograde it's you, like like i i went through it last like like last week because it was it was the last couple of weeks mercury was opposite when, when mercury was still in uh, capricorn it was opposite suns and cancer and i was just like what is going on this is stupid it's like i thought mercury retrograde was over now technically technically mercury retrograde was over but we were still sort of in the shadow period that's not why it was happening to me it's because mercury was opposite my natal sun and it feels that way it feels like wait, why am i not understanding or why am i miss everybody seems like they're misspeaking or this this computer program is failing what is going on it, yeah it doesn't last long guys it's gonna be okay but I gotta tell you those of you who are at nine degrees Leo say eight nine ten degrees Leo it's gonna be really tough for you because you're also um, no, no 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 not not tough for you but you are also experiencing that trine to the Chiron Jupiter so even though these hang-ups with technology or with communication will be super super irritating and intrusive they're going to kind of exacerbate your challenges and make them harder you're it's also going to make you be so much better on the other side for having dealt with it you know it's like all this stuff being thrown at you and then you becoming an expert in it because you had to be so it, it's going to work out okay i promise um end of leo season it's you guys that i think you're experiencing the harshest I would say between 25 degrees and 30 degrees Leo. So you born almost on like the Virgo cusp. It's you guys especially because your natal sun is in opposition to the current sun, which almost means like there's like a um, tension in who you are, a questioning of do you even know yourself and of the, of the ego itself. And since the current sun is also conjunct Saturn, it's going to be roughest, I think, for you guys. Oh, there's so much banging all around me. I apologize. It's going to be hardest for you guys. You're going to struggle a lot maybe with authority, with rules, with peer pressure, or even just like social media crowds, something just like coming at you, making things very uncomfortable for you. Lots of opposition, like you don't fit in. You know, I don't agree with what the crowd says I'm supposed to be or what the popular belief is. You could find a lot of dissonance happening in your life and that will kind of last for at least the next week, week and a half, FYI. Just be aware. Um, it won't last forever, but be aware. Um, let's get into the cards because there's a lot on the table. We have six of pentacles so this is opportunity or maybe you yourself you're you're the one giving taking care of this is once again answering the needs of the crowd answering the needs of the public answering somebody's needs maybe being altruistic trying to be kind or opportunities opening up so this could be opportunities opening up for you and possibilities coming in for you so your ships coming in that's what it is the three of wands is something that you've invested is now yielding a return and there's opportunities coming into you or finances starting to fall but this is why i don't like it and I, it's right here on the table i you guys we, i can't even make this stuff up like look at saturn and the sun this is capricorn and leo that's saturn and the sun conjunct is making things crazy it's 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 the crowd right all the, the, so what, how, let's break it down there's all these opportunities that want to come in for you right all these rewards that were all set to come in and then the fucking crowd gets in the way and tries to like get in your way and tries to oppose things or people try to challenge you or they think no it should be mine you have to share that's kind of what it is you have to share you have to share you have to share it's like <sighs> It's like it's like siblings, you know? It's like it's like when you've worked your booty off, right? And you got your allowance money, but then your little siblings are like, but I want candy too, but I want candy too. You have to share. Why do I have to share what I earned? Because you're not fair, because you are you being fair? Are you did did you do any of the work? Like let, let, sit down, kids. Let, let me let me let me hand you the book called The Little Red Hen. 
okay? If you don't help bake the bread, then you don't get a piece of the bread. That's not unfair. That's actually justice, right? And that's that kind of sense. It's like, like people getting at you, but it's almost like because you have this energy, the crowd has too much authority, right? Even if, even if they didn't do anything, they're still trying to get away in the way of what has been hard won and that what you worked really hard for. Now this may this may be the crowd or just a bunch of people who haterade, haterade, right? Or rules and regulations. Right? Like like as soon as you start getting successful, all of a sudden now you got the IRS knocking at you, you know, tax time or you now you got this law, you got this law, you got this law. It could be that. It's not that you're not successful. It's not that good things aren't coming in to you, that good things aren't happening to you, Leo. But you've got all this stressful authority stuff that you have to deal with. So, wagging your finger. Okay, now we want our peace. Now we want our peace. Now we, you got to do this. You got to do this. You got to do this. It's not that you can't do it. It's that people are being real pricks to just take, it's almost like taking off your shine because of everything that they expect, the pieces, and that's really what I think is gonna frustrate you now because the sun is in Aquarius. Don't worry, it won't be for that much longer. Like say another week and a half, it'll be in Pisces, but it'll be much better there. But in Aquarius, it's in detriment because it's all like, okay, but you have to shine on me. You have to shine on me and you don't, you don't get to just shine on everybody. Every, everybody wants a piece and gonna make you feel guilty if they're not taking a piece of your shine. And it's not even that you don't, you don't wanna share. It's that you don't want people to be able to dictate what you do with what you've earned, right? And it's kinda of like that. So there is kind of a power struggle between what you have earned and, and everything that's coming into you versus the rules, the regulations, and people seeing you and expecting something from it. We're gonna get into it. We're gonna get into it. Let's get deeper. Oh, Saturn and the Sun. They don't generally get along. They're, they don't. Mm -mm. And Saturn in Aquarius is very much, you know, communism. <laughs> I'm gonna say it. I gotta say it. I gotta say it. Oh my God. I'm not trying to be political, but I just said it. Oh my God. You know, very much that that mentality of, well, the, the group sets the rules. The crowd sets the rules. It has to be law that everything is fair. Now, that could be very good. And like I said, energy is neither good nor bad. But it is how is it used? You know, how, how is it being executed? And this is really clashing, for you at least. This is Piscean energy. Balance spirituality and practicality, full moon in Pisces. So A, this is going to be very emotional for you. It's going to feel very personal, and maybe it is. But also, there's a sense of real versus like the psychic, right? It's like like the prayer world, the spiritual world, something maybe manifesting is into reality. Nothing is yet set in stone. So something is here that could be real, but it's not realized yet. And that could be a, a point of even deeper contention since it seems like all this red tape and all these people throw, throwing the books at you are kind of like, why are you getting in the way of what is so clearly trying to be manifested? This is just, but like I said, if I had to sum this up, I would say this is like growing pains. So I wouldn't be too scared of this energy, but it, you can't ignore it either, right? But for the next week, week and a half, these growing pains are gonna be pretty intense this sense of something is still coming into being. I don't know what that is, but it is still coming into being. And it, it's still in the process. It's still trying to take its physical form. And I think that that's really frustrating because there's all these frustrations that are coming in the way of it. Um, nothing is yet set in stone. How should Leo behave in these situations? How should Leo behave in this situation? What should Leo do? Okay. You should just keep doing you. Because victory, success, the six of wands is here. And that's you. King of wands, that's you. King, the king. This is you guys. 
unless you're dealing with another fire sign. But it's almost like I said, what should Leo do? You know what Leo should do? Leo should go public. Leo should go public with Leo's side of the story. Leo should go public with, like, let yourself be seen is what it's saying. It's not like you have a problem with the spotlight. Let people know what's happening. Let people know. I think a lot of this frustration is simply people want to be a part of your process. So it's almost like go ahead and be the leader. You can still be the leader and, and take other people along with you. They will allow this. People will be supportive if you take the lead. This is a sense of go ahead and keep creating. You will be happy that you did. I love this energy. So I guess the answer to the question is you got to keep moving forward. No matter what. This hair is getting me crazy. Sorry about it. Yeah, you got to keep moving forward. That's the way. Nothing is yet set in stone. Balance spirituality. Oh. Yeah, but the full moon will be in Virgo. We have a full moon that's coming in Pisces season, right? That's in a month from now. Nothing is yet set in stone. So this might be a conflict an emotional conflict with some like it's almost like you haven't like the commitment hasn't gone all the way through yet so that could be like the conflict or the the point of tension in that it keeps being talked about it keeps being an idea but nothing is actually set in stone and that's what's pissing you off is that nothing is legal nothing has been confirmed nothing has been assured and that's an issue those issues keep arising about something that needs to be made official it's i don't know how to explain it it's something that's coming into being but it's not official yet but it's changing the way that you interact with rules laws regulation however that is this is beautiful energy though the outcome is bring it to the public eye bring it to you have people's attention or you will get people's attention if you have the confidence and 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 the courage to just let them know let them see and it's like trust your conviction because ultimately it's going to lead you to a place of i guess happiness what i don't understand is hold on okay but what is this victory and success? How do they jump from page of swords is here. So this is some sort of message that comes through or communication, some sort of small communication. And then we have seven of pentacles. It means talk about it. Share your experience. Share the failure. Share the failed attempts. It means like don't hide about it. Go. It's I got to say it's like go public with something. Ten of Swords. Maybe a decision to end something if you tried it over and over again. Okay. Or something that, talk about something that you had to try over and over that again and finally give up because it wasn't working. Like accepting a failure. The decision to accept a failure so that you would have room to try again from scratch and from experience. That's what this is saying. Yeah. What is this about? What exactly is this about? Libra energy. Maybe you're dealing with a Libra. Maybe a court case or balancing things out in some way. It could be a partnership. Seven of Wands is taking the high ground when it comes to a partner. Maybe defending your partner. Or believing with it, sticking to the partnership, or officializing the partnership. So it could be marriage. You know, having to fight off naysayers or struggle harder because the two of you aren't official or because your business doesn't have the correct paperwork. Something like that. And then we have Ace of Cups. So this does have to do with something that you love and that means a great deal to you emotionally. This could be about a new relationship or your spouse. It's, it's almost like you, there's, there's a legal decision that has to be officiated when it comes to your romance. 
or or whatever it is that you're putting your whole heart into because there is love here let's go to the extended leo i want to talk to you about first okay go back i want to talk to you about my special announcement so my special announcement i've already announced i announced it back in december and that was that i was going to look to have my first meet and greet and now it's official. I have, please save the date, May 13th in Austin, Texas. I am going to have my first ever meet and greet to celebrate my 100K. It is May 13th, that's a Saturday, in Austin, Texas. I am organizing a three hour long event that includes an hour and a half long sound bath for clearing, healing, and cleansing your whole vibration and we'll be able to experience it together so it's not just going to be about me saying hi hi talking 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 no we, we can experience and have a celebration together and then we will talk and there will be a meet and greet between you and I and we'll also have good enjoy good food drink a little bit of champagne so all of that is included in the entry fee the entry fee for being there live and there's limited spaces, guys, so it's just because of fire laws. So you're gonna have to get those tickets quick because they're gonna sell out quick. It is $110 for all of those things. I mean, just the sound bath itself is usually between $40 and $50. So it's, it's, it's a great, it's just, it's just great price. There's three musicians that are gonna be there and they are, they are meditation, Reiki, and yogi practitioners. They're fantastic. And I just can't wait to share it with you, right? A shared experience is something that will always be remembered. And I just was thinking, how do I celebrate with these guys? And to me, it, it came to me like, this is what I want to share. This is what I want to share because I want to heal. I want to help guide you to things that will heal you. And it has healed me. So um, I really can't wait to meet you in person. There's also going to be a virtual option, which will be $30 so that you will get the virtual experience of the event. Um, and I hope that you come. I hope you come and participate one way or the other. I will put the link up once I have all of that stuff worked out. I've got to sign the contract with the location um, over this weekend. So that's what's going to be happening. And of course, I will keep you posted. Uh, and listen, for those of you who have to fly in or drive in, Austin's an awesome city. There's so much to do here, so it will not be a waste of your time. Now, let us go a little bit deeper into this extended reading. Um, what is it that we're battling, especially when it comes to battling for love? I feel like this is almost like an officiation. Something to do with making it official, getting it approved, or making it street legal. So hold on, let's go to the extended. I'll see you guys there. <laughs> 